This is cluster six and it is NC1G1 and NC1G2. Cluster six is distinguishing and composing shapes. The standards in NCG1 is distinguishing between defining and non-defining attributes and to create shapes with defining attributes by building and drawing triangles, rectangles, squares, trapezoids, hexagons, and circles, and building cubes, rectangular prisms, cones, spheres, and cylinders. NC1G2 is creating a composite shape by making a two-dimensional composite shape using rectangles, squares, trapezoids, triangles, and half circles, naming the components of the new shape. Making a three-dimensional composite shape by using and naming the components of the new shape. Early geometry is much more than vocabulary and naming shapes. It involves developing the defining and non-defining attributes of the shape. A defining attribute of a shape is the number of sides, the number of angles, and that is a closed figure. A non-defining attribute is color, size, and orientation. Be very careful just using your supplies in a math kit, i.e. your pattern blocks and things of that nature, because that does tend to have children notice more the non-defining attributes. For instance, if they only see a blue hexagon, they tend to assume that all hexagons are blue. You really want to take them into the world and into their, their classroom and their bigger world and identify them in a variety of contexts so that they can see that they can be tall and skinny and they can still be a triangle or they can be short and fat and still be a triangle. Lots of different ways of seeing them in the real world helps with them learning the defining and non-defining attributes. You need to also be very careful with commercially prepared materials. They usually will have the, a rhombus identified as a diamond, and a diamond is not a mathematical term.